They did it. They fucking did it. Yes, the Eagles finally win their first Super Bowl, their first championship since 1960. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. This is... Uh, I, I don't really have a lot of words. It's... It's still kind of shocking. I had to pinch myself several times last night just to see if it had happened. And I'll tell you, like, I know that some people uh, in, in my group of friends or whatever um, don't understand just why I'm so excited about this. And, I mean, I've never actually in my lifetime had a team I follow closely win a championship. Like I'm 22. The Eagles just won their their super yeah, the Super Bowl last night. The Leafs haven't won it since 1967. The Raptors have never won it. The Grizzlies have never won it. I mean, I don't follow baseball, but the Jays won it before I was born. I wasn't following hockey when the Anaheim when the Anaheim Ducks won, you know, won the Stanley Cup and they're the closest thing to my favorite team in that sport despite living in Toronto and you know, and assuming kind of, you know, as, you know, relativity with the, uh, with the, with the Leafs. But yeah, like no team I've ever followed closely has ever really done anything. But the Eagles just won the fucking Super Bowl. And they did it against Tom Brady. And they did it with a backup quarterback. And they did it despite the defense giving up like 798 thousand fucking yards seriously ain't no defense played in that fucking game none neither team played the remotest iota of fucking defense and that's what had me worried is that in a game with no defense tom brady should win right well apparently no and brandon graham um I may name my firstborn son Brandon Graham. Like, his first name Brandon, his middle name Graham. Um, holy shit. I did a lap around the house when that happened, and I'm not even fucking kidding you. I mean, I watched the the Super Bowl, what, 14 years ago? Uh, Super Bowl 39? 13 years ago, I guess? Um, with the Eagles and the Patriots round one, and um, I was horrified that was going to happen again. And being an Eagles fan, I really had no other reason to expect it wouldn't happen. Um, but they, they did it. And, I mean, who would have thought that Doug Peterson in two years, would turn a team that was really bad. Like, that Chip Kelly-led squad in its, in his last year was bad. Their record was better than it showed. And yeah, I saw a lot of people yesterday going, well, Chip Kelly turned them from 4-12 and 12 to uh, to division champs in his first year. Yeah, and then they did the same thing. They had the same record in year two, and then he just completely fell off in year three, and the team was a joke. That getting someone that actually understood how to run an NFL offense and bringing in players and utilizing them to their strengths. Like, just simple football. You know, I saw it yesterday. Nick Foles really is not a great quarterback, but he played fantastically because his strengths were what was being run by the team. He's more successful with the, with the RPOs than Carson Wentz is. And because it's what Foles, you know, you know, um, you know, excels at, Peterson just changed the offense for him to give them the best chance at winning. And, I mean, all the credit in the world to Nick Foles. Uh, he seems like just a really fucking nice guy. Uh, the dude's about to get mega paid by somebody. Um, and to think, like, 18 months ago, he wanted to give up football. That's kind of insane to me that he can go from that to a backup quarterback to a starter to a Super Bowl MVP in, like, six months. That's that's crazy to me. And I've... 
<laughs> oh boy, there are just so many feelings right now, and I don't quite know how to express them. This is this is new to me. Um, yeah, and I have to go to class in a couple of hours, and it's not like I'm hungover. I'm just kind of confused. I didn't even drink all that much. I'm just really confused. I'm not sure how to emote today. I think today's a day where I just go and grab every bit of Eagles gear I own and bring that to school. Um, and piss off every Cowboys, Giants, and Redskins fan I know, just because. And yes, yes, you have more Super Bowls than us, that's fine. We won the one last night, which is the one that's important. And guess what, Cowboys fans? Not only are you going to have the, the pleasure of laughing at the Giants for picking second at the draft in your home venue, you're also going to have to hear, Fly Eagles Fly! On the road to victory, playing at number 32, because we won the Super Bowl, and we pick at the championship pick in your venue. Have fun, Cowboys fans! All jokes aside, all me not being able to form words and everything aside, there is going to be a mock draft later this week, probably Wednesday or Thursday. Just depends on how busy I am with classes and stuff. I uh, should definitely be out by Friday. Um, yeah, um, there's been a lot of changes to my overall board since the last time I made a mock draft. I'm uh, pretty sure the last one I made, the deadline day, hadn't even come yet. So Yeah, it hadn't because Cleland Farrell and and uh, Kristen Wilkins were still in it. Um yeah, those guys obviously didn't declare, so there's going to be a lot of big changes, which I think should be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for that later this week. Um, as always, guys, that's going to do it for today. Like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell another friend. Fly, Eagles, fly, on the road to victory. Fly, Eagles, fly, score a touchdown, one, two, three. Hit them low, hit them high, watch those Eagles fly. Fly, Eagles, fly, on the road to victory. E-A-G-L-E. E S Eagles